when the Imperial Legion was founded seven centuries ago. Its members were drawn from the elite fighters of the Conquest armies. These days they are specifically bred for the role. It is over a century since the Legion last saw combat. Even so, they could be a real threat if competently led, but General Turd thinks that a Black Dalit's genetic programming is a real substitute for experience. With him in charge, we have a chance for victory. There is still the possibility that the Golden Emperor will assign some experienced units to the attack force. As well as your own forces, I am giving you command of the 17th Combat Engineering Corps and the 9th Army's Mobile Nutrient Preparation Brigade and the 2nd Battlefield Accounting Battalion. It will make no difference. I know Turd. He will not take advice and will want his own troops to get all the glory. It is not Turd that worries me, it is our security. The Imperials were waiting for us on Skaro. I want to know how they learned about our raid. I have already ordered a full security lockdown on all communications from this base and records of outgoing signals will be checked to see if we can trace the warning that must have been sent to Skaro. Because of the risk of our plans being revealed to the First Empire, I am giving the highest priority to the task of tracing and eliminating the leak. Chief Administrator, what progress can you report with regard to making good the losses we suffered in the Select Campaign? Our present fighting strength is at 78% of our pre-select numbers. 12% of those are still undergoing induction and reinforcement of genetic training. Procreation have commenced gestation of another 400 drones, but it will be necessary to keep half of them dormant due to a shortage of materials for travel machine fabrication. We could recall our garrison forces from the five conquered worlds of which the first army has retained control, but to do so would risk the loss of those worlds, their resources and the local slave labour forces. The current projection is that it will be 67 days before the fortress of Zagalan is back to full strength. Chief Fabricator, what is being done to resolve the material shortages that are delaying travel machine production? Because Ziraglin is a moon, it lacks many of the heavier elements. The actinides we require to make Dalekanium are particularly scarce. Since we cannot mine them here, we have in the past shipped them in from Skaro. We have now begun to synthesize those elements we need most artificially in our main power reactors. But we will not be able to obtain as much as we need until the new mines on Rantak begin to produce. I have been thinking about what Kreezov said regarding a possible conflict of loyalties in the Third Conquest Army. Perhaps we can exploit that. Winning a Second Conquest Army to our cause would greatly strengthen our position. Yes, General Zimol has not proved a popular commander. Since he took over, the Third has seen little glory, and his campaign against the sentient seaweeds of Aquatica II showed him to be an uninspired leader, winning scant respect from his troops. The Third Army is far from Skyro and the influence of the Golden Emperor. I think that they would welcome a return to the fierce days of battle and glory they enjoyed under your command. I would have to go there in person. Given the situation, I am not sure there is sufficient time. 48 days minimum. A round trip to Edrasea would take you only 12 days at most. How certain are you of that figure? I took all the relevant factors into account. Indeed, there is now a radiation storm brewing in the Mangast system, which may cause them to detour through the Hlung Drift, and with the hyperspatial currents against them, that could add a further day and a half to their journey. They cannot be here in less than 48 days. I think the potential gain makes the risk worthwhile. I will visit the headquarters of the Third Conquest Army on Edrosia as soon as all matters of importance are taken care of here on Zagrella. We will now discuss in detail all aspects of the upcoming conflict and the further ramifications of independence from the First Dalek Empire.
Hello, caller. You have connected to Zara Gala, home of the Second Dalek Empire, formerly known as the First Conquest Army. Which extension do you require? Emperor Xenol, I have a priority call for you from his ultimate supremacy, the Golden Emperor, first Lord of Skaro, ruler of all Daleks and destined master of the universe. He wishes to reverse the charges. Will you accept the call? Very well. Patch the signal through to my holographic telecommunicator. Dino, I commend your courage, but surely you realize you cannot prevail. Submit to my command once more, and we will simply forget this incident. Together we can make the Daleks invincible. Conflict between us threatens to destroy the Empire. The universe is big. There is room enough for two Dalek Empires. There need be no conflict between us. Leave me in peace to rule the Second Empire as I see fit, and time will tell which of us has chosen the right path. That cannot be. I am the one true Emperor. All Daleks must submit to my will or be exterminated. I regret that I must lose you, Zeno, but I cannot permit my authority to be challenged like this. Even in an infinite universe, there is not room for two Dalek empires. There can only be one. Ah, there you are, Xenol. I mean, Emperor. All this talk of General Turd has reminded me of some data files I discovered in the electronic library while we were on Scarro. It concerned you and Turd and the other Black Daleks of your generation. A project codenamed Ancestral. You have discovered something, Zemag. Make your report. This is one of our reserve communicators, supposedly not in service. However, the activity log shows that a number of calls have been made to Scarro from here during the last few months. What about the hallway monitors? We have been switching them off overnight in areas that are not in use. I have already issued instructions that they are to be left on around the clock from now on. Whoever sent the calls was a professional. They wiped the call log and purged the transmission buffers when they were finished. The technical Daleks did manage to find something though. A residual electron polarity analysis of the transmission buffer managed to recover part of the last message to be sent with this device. The fragment only lasts for three rails, but I think you will find it extremely interesting. Great stars, that is a mechanoid digital speech form. Yes, it is mechanoid speech. The run length compression and embedded checksums are typical of the southern quadrant mechanoid tribes. But when we ran it through a translation filter, we got yet another surprise. Silver tears of a feasible winter moon anoint my escutcheons and belatedly moisten eloquently spectral tentacles. That sounds like one of the old Kardec dialects. That is right. The electronic library identified it as the northeastern province middle caste formal dialect. Obviously, it is some form of code, but our cryptography section tells me there is just not enough of it for them to have any chance of deciphering it. It does tell us one thing though. The complex use of codes and languages is the hallmark of the Scaro Political Intelligence and Espionage Corps. The Spy Corps. They had an agent here spying on their own people, even before we turned against the Golden Emperor. How utterly low of them. Find him, Zemar. Find the spy and exterminate him. I am already working on it. I have my security troops maintaining a constant guard on all communicators. 
and my intelligence teams are checking the personal records for suspects. It will be no easy task though. Imperial spies are superbly trained in the art of concealment. They can make themselves utterly inconspicuous. We could pass him in the hallway and not spare him a second glance.